Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and today we're gonna be playing Hero Brides Return, which is the sequel to Hero Brides Mansion. I'm actually really excited about it. That was a really fun map. I'm sure this one will be too, and it just came out, which is awesome. But yeah, we're gonna read this and we will get started. I will be playing solo today, so hopefully I won't die too much. Okay, Hero Brides Return by Hypixel. Don't break any blocks unless told to. Recommended texture pack is F3's Ascended, which I've got on, looks pretty good. And um, sequel to Hero Brides Mansion. I've got all the settings and stuff set, so I think I'm I think I'm good to go. Oh guys, this part is actually pretty funny. Forever alone. Play this map on my adventure lobby server server. MC.hypixel.net. So if you guys no, if you have no one to play with in the world, no one to play with, you now do. Isn't that awesome? But anyways, we are gonna start this. Okay, so right click the hoppers, grab the keys, and put them back in the appropriate hopper to open the doors. I think that's actually really cool. This must be because of the new, you know, um, 1.5 patch in Minecraft. A new way to open doors, which actually is exciting for me because I've been working on my maps as well. So key B has to go in the key B one and key A has to go in the key A one. Alright, so that's cool though. I really like that. That's a much better way to open a door than a music disc. Okay. There are four weapon armor sets available. Make sure you grab the quest log in the first house. For now, just choose a difficulty and press the start button behind you. Just want to start button. Press the button and begin your adventure. We're going normal, guys. I'm soloing this shit, so we are going normal. I don't want to go on hard and get completely out. I just, I'm, I'm not going to do it. And we'll get started. Victor, I missed you. <laughs> wake up, wake up. He, he's b back. What are you talking about? Calm down. He, he, he. Spit it out. Who? Hero Brian, I fear he has come to seek vengeance for what we did three years ago. I will go stop him. Stay here, Victor. Thank you, Furious Destroyer. But before you go, grab some supplies in my storage chest. All right, I got that, man. I got it. You got anything for me? All right, we got some food here. Got some potions. More. Oh, strength potion. Cool. Uh, regeneration potion. Haste potion. Milk, always, you know, always nice to have a cup of milk with you. Berserking potion. And that's about it for now. I'm sure I will see you later, though. I don't see anything in here. I don't, I don't think. Don't think. Nah. All right, let's go downstairs. Okay, grab some supplies and don't forget the quest log. Important setting, smooth lighting off. All right, did I, did I do that? I didn't really, I, didn't, I honestly, I didn't even look to see if I did it. All right, smooth lighting. Where exactly is that? Smooth lighting, mine is maximum. It is now off. All right, I thought I had the settings right, but there we go. Okay, grab some supplies and don't forget the quest log. All right, so there's three sets here, and I like how that opened the door. That is cool. How th I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go into creative after I play this map and just to see how some things were set up. All right, so here are the quest logs. I don't think I need two. I don't think you play this with six people, but I'm just gonna check to see if these are the same. All right, Herobrine's return. 16 pages. This town is threatened by Herobrine's return. Gear up. Let's make sure these are different. I mean the same. Okay, so cool. I'm gonna leave that in here. I'm gonna get all this gear because, you know, my gear might break or something, so I'm just gonna grab it all, every ounce of it. I know it's for, like, up to three players, but I'm just gonna take it all. All right, let's put this on. We'll take a look and see exactly what the gear is. It's just basically an iron set, so nothing special there. But we got a training sword here with unbreaking and sharpness two does eight to 12 damage. All right, I'm gonna put this stuff in here, and just in case I need it, I don't think I'm going, I probably will, honestly. There's nothing on this stuff, so I might need it. All right, I think we are ready to go. Let's just read the first quest exactly. The town is threatened by Hugh Ryan's return. Gear up and make your way to the town to investigate. Grab some supplies, visit the town. Okay, I'm going to read this one after. Yeah, so I'll read one at a time. So we just need to get to the town, basically. And they're already after me. What's up, guys? How's it going? So, yeah, we got to get to the town. There's four of these dudes. I have this on normal for a good reason. Going around here. I'm not going to get hit. I won't. I won't allow it. Luckily, they're nice and slow. And I have one soul. I just got hit. All right, you guys get anything other than food there? I don't think so. Get all that experience. Might need it. I don't know. I don't know how it's set up. Okay, so I got four souls. So I guess killing those guys um, gets me souls. I'm not exactly sure how that'll work, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. Let me get you guys. Oh, God, I hate archers. You know what? Archer first. Come here. I won't allow this. Oh, God, I got, like, stuck. Okay, got that one. Oh, God. I may have attracted a lot. No, but, you know, they don't hit too hard, so it's not too bad, really. Good thing I didn't plan hard. 
I might actually be close to death now. And I don't think they drop anything. I'm just making... I just gotta make sure, because I know I miss some stuff usually in these type of maps. Especially if I played my own map without knowing. I put so much weird stuff in it. There was, like, stuff all over the place. Just looking around. Exploring, guys. You, you know, you never... You, you might miss something. You never know. Alright. Oh, I can see the, like, the area from here, actually. Looks cool. Alright, let's eat some food. I don't want my hunger to go down too quickly. Alright, good. Alright, let's get back on the road. <laughs> I'm, t I'm taking too much time exploring. All right, it's nighttime. All right, bro. Give me your damn sword. It's got to be better than mine. I can feel his presence. He has become stronger. All right, what do we get here? We got, um, same crap I got on. All right, let me just toss that over there. So Hero Brian is even. Sh oh, God. I missed that. I'm going to tear your world apart. Bring chaos and destruction. Oh god. Good thing, you know, good thing I got my training trainer sword here, you know? Alright, I got ya. I got you guys, you aren't too bad. I hope you drop something better. Maybe a nice enchanted weapon. What weapon is that? It's probably mine actually. Looks like it. Is it? It's a stone sword, and mine is I think better than that. I hope so at least. Alright, we'll take a quick look. Um this one is enchanted. It's Milsey's Escape. Um, it's part of the Crimson Blade set. It's got protection one and a breaking five, so we'll replace our iron boots with that one. And the sword is just a stone sword, which sucks compared to what I have on, so I'm just gonna toss it on the ground. Alright, so pretty good so far. And there's the town we are heading to. So we shouldn't have any problems getting there without dying, I hope. I actually think my skills have, like, dramatically improved from the map that I made, just because I accidentally made it ridiculously hard. Like, I, I, probably, I probably barely die at all in this. Um, this one is Quaggy's. Was this Quaggy's too? No, this one's Quaggy's Might. Protection 1, Blast Protection 1, and it's part of the Crimson Blade set. We'll put that on. Alright, I think we're pretty good now. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna toss it. Is that, what's it on breaking um, 10? I'm just going to... I'm gonna keep what we got for now. I don't want to throw anything away, because I'm afraid, you know, sometimes you have bad luck and it breaks anyway, even with on breaking 10 on it. And here's the first... Ten. Ooh, I like, I like the smoke coming out. It's like spider webs. That's cool. All right, we've made it to town. I'm actually going to read the next one. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Wait. Gear up and make your way to the town to investigate. Next one is, Hereby's corruption has been cast upon the town. Contact priest and learn in the town church for guidance. Okay, so we need to find the church now. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh, look. Who we have... Who do we... Who we have here? Our old friend. Hello. Hero Brian, remember, I defeated you once and put your mansion to ruins. Can I kill you from here? I don't think you can ever begin to understand how strong I have become. Oh god, he lit it on fire. You are evil. That is mean. That is mean shit right there. Stop it! He must be stopped now before he destroys everything. Oh god, how do I how do I stop him? I'm I'm stuck in here. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out of this prison spell. You coward. I'll deal with you. Wish I had a bow right now. I'd knock his ass right off that into the water. I have better things to attend to. We shall meet again, mortal. Is he gone? I think so. Oh, Victor, there you are. For now, at least, Victor. I told you to stay at the house. Oh, God. I heard that explosion. Oh god. All right, so here is Veron's house, which is is that the set I got? Let me just check. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, that was the person talking. That was the person talking. All right, you have to have some food and some oh, brand new boots. Let me get rid of all this crap. All these crappy boots don't need them anymore. Now I have a I have Milsies, but why not use these, right? Because they these are actually no, they're the same. All right, and these are full durability with Unbreaking 10, so I'm probably not going to need the old ones anymore. So we'll get rid of those and head upstairs. So we're going to check out all these houses, guys, and then we will um, go to the church. Some rotten flesh. Bunch of chests in here. Guess I can't get in that one, sadly. All right, more rotten flesh. Um, crafting table. Oh, a bow. Hawk strike. Power 4, Infinity 1, Unbreaking 10. It's part of the Crimson Blade set. I love... I love bows. All right, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna head out of here and check out some of these others. 
All right, is this the church? No, this is the alchemist shop. There's like a button. <laughs> I just thought, I didn't know what it would do. Whoa, that was that scared me, honestly. Okay, the alchemist shop. Do you sell stuff here? I'm hoping you do, because you are the alchemist. All right, I can go in through this way. And there really isn't anything in here. All right, but we'll go upstairs. Hoping for some more good stuff in these chests. Maybe uh, more parts of the set. No, nothing? Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, bucket of milk, um, some rotten flesh, a splash potion. So I guess there were chests. I just didn't see them down there. But now I see them from up here, and there is no shop. No shop like I was hoping for. Okay, Lu Lufini... Lufinian's Helm. Protection 1, projectile projection 1, I'm breaking 10. Awesome. And some bones. I think we could trade that for some stuff. So we take off the iron helmet. I'm going to put that in there. And I think I'm just going to get rid of some of this, you know, all the iron stuff. There was no reason for me to pick it up. We don't need it. All right. So, yeah, I did miss. I did happen to miss these. Let me see if I can get up there. <laughs> I want to get to that chest. Hold on. Oh, God. All right, nothing in there. Is that the one I is the one I looted already? Okay, there's nothing in there. All right, guys, I think we checked this. Oh, more stuff. Hopefully, really bad jump. I suck at this. And one more right there. Okay, more rotten flesh and some cooked chicken. All right, I think we got everything in this one. I'm trying to get everything. Don't don't want to miss anything. I might get something good. Okay, this building right here. But no, the guys, this map seems really good so far. I like they put a lot more story into it so far, which is really good. I always like that. That's probably like my favorite like part to stuff. Um, why would I pick that up? I'll take the steak though. Anything else? Another bow, hawk strike. I already got one. It's got on breaking. I'm just gonna grab a second one just in case. I probably won't need it. Just like I probably won't need these shoes, but I'm gonna grab them anyway. All right, get this stuff and um, ooh. Victor's Grace, Sharpness 5, Bane of Arthropods 1, Smite 1, I'm breaking 10. Okay, forget these swords. We don't need this crap anymore. We've got Victor's Grace. This is Victor's sword right here. He should, he should wield it and help me. That'd be awesome. It would be. Damn it. Oh, yeah, there's like a thing above it. Okay. Victor. Victor, I sure, I'm sure you've got stuff to trade with me. All right, we're gonna trade all this stuff for some steak. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything we really need. I mean, there's instant health potions. Is there splash ones too? There's strength. I just wasted all that stuff anyway. But I can get these, you know what, I'm gonna trade my bones. I can get one um, splash potion um, instant healing too. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, where's the church anyway? There's the inn. There's so many buildings to go through. All right, here we go. Some more food. I'm just gonna grab like all the food. I don't want to. I don't want to miss any food. I need it. Oh shit! Oh, we got another um, one of Victor's weapons, which knocked me completely on the ground. Where did I fall through anyway? That is tricky right there. Oh, I'm gonna grab these. Um, can we can we go up higher here? Hold on. Now nah, doesn't. This is a really broken room. It's because that damn hero Brian. Came in here and we wrecked this poor town. Poor town. It's sad. And right here, nothing. Nothing. What is that? That's like a cool, like, um, picture, I guess. We went into that house. We went into, um, did we go into Mozart's house? I don't think that we did. I don't think we went in this one. Although, I don't think there's anything in it. So, oh, no, downstairs. Another, I don't need another one of those. All right, Victor. Where is the church? We need to head to that church now. This must be it. Kind of looks like a church. All right, there they are. Alern. Adventurers, I fear Herobrine's necromancer has taken over the graveyard. Can you please stop him? Yes. <laughs> I'll make sure to bring back peace in your village. All right, read your quest log for more information. Quest two has been completed. And this is the heavens shop. Hold on a second. What does that mean? You haven't unlocked the heaven shop yet, so I probably unlock that after I um, do the next quest. So quest three here. Hero Bride's corruption has been cast upon the town. Contact. Yeah, I just did that. It's the next one. My bad. The graveyard has been taken over by the necromancer in Hero Bride's command. Defeat him and free the town from darkness. Find the graveyard. And defeat the evil necromancer. All right, I think we can handle that. You know why not? Why not? 
All right, Victor, you know where the graveyard is? Is it around here somewhere? Which way did we come from? I need a map. But um, since this is here, I would just imagine that it's forward, and that's probably it over there. I see some type of um, graveyard-looking thing, and there's mobs. Nope, we got the bow now. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, relax. Re Damn, Archer is freaking accurate today. I'm trying to get back further so I can actually, you know, not get hit by him. I hope that he hits them. That's what I'm shooting for. All right, Archer, you stand no chance. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna nail everyone with this stuff if I can. I feel like it's so much easier to avoid damage this way. Anything good? Oh, I can get rid of these iron leggings for judgment leg plates. Protection one and and projectile projection one. Awesome. All right, did we get a full set now? Yeah, we have a full set basically. Oh, let me grab that. Is that head better? Lufurians, and this is as well, but mine's full durability. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to just go here. I'm, it looks like there's a boss fight right over there, and that is going to be the Necromancer. Yeah, hit him. Not me. Not me. I don't want to mess. All right, I got you. No, we'll probably see my first death on the boss, to be honest. All right, we'll check out this stuff, see if we got anything that happens to be a little bit better. Um, doesn't look like it's so far. Okay, so, yeah, nothing better there. We're going to eat some food. I have 46 steaks. That's so much. I know it's enough for, like, three people, though. Any chance there's anything hidden in the water? This is the first boss, right? All right, mouth torn. The necromancer. I'm just going to check. While I'm getting my health back, why not, you know, take a look? You know? There, there could be something hidden. All right, I can't even see anything, so probably not. <laughs> I always like to check these things out, you know, just in case. Because they could put something cool down there, like a special chest with some of those gold nuggets in it or something. But I'm actually going to wait on my full durability here. Not durability. My full um, health. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put this next to there. And I have one splash po I have two splash potions. Which I'm going to set right there. And I think that should be good. I think we're pretty much set up for the fight. We've got the Hawk Strike next to the Victor's Grace. So I can use both weapons. And I can always switch to the splash potions. Alright, all right, Necromancer. I'm ready. Starting boss fight. Alright. Put offerings in the hopper. Okay. The ritual has begun. You are too late, humans. But for now, my minions will take care of you mortals. All right, let's get into the let's get into the corner here. There's a way to reverse the ritual. You must put zombie heart in the altar. So zombies are gonna come, basically, and I'm just gonna toss the stuff in the hopper in the middle from the looks of it for this um for this fight. All right, that doesn't sound too bad. I think I get it. It's good to actually like read it. Put the zombie heart in the altar. So I see it right there, that disgusting, nasty-looking, bloody, gross thing. All right, we need to reverse the ritual, guys. We've got to do it quickly. Get in there. All right, I'm reversing it. All right, I got you guys. I got you. I can use this weapon, too. Okay, so once we, once we kill these guys, I will... You have a pumpkin head. What's wrong with you? Ruins Halloween for everybody. Okay, did I get any more? No, I didn't. Didn't get any more. Alright, come on. Okay, there we go. And Sienna, I wonder how many we need to get to actually, like, complete it. So these guys are a little bit faster, but not, not too bad. Try to use these corners and stuff to my advantage here. I can't. What do you say? If I were you, I wouldn't play with that thing. Oh, uh, what do you... Oh, that was the other dude. It was Maltorn. I know, I'm not trying to play with anything. I'm probably going to die anyway. Especially when the actual boss comes out, because he's going to be, like, pissed that I screwed up his hopper or something. Oh, 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 oh. One second, bro. One second. I need to get this in the hopper. Okay, put that in there. Stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. Do I have to do everything myself? Feel my wrath, stupid mortals. All right, switch into the bow right now. All right, punk. All right, no, it's, it's cheap to do it from here because I'm pretty sure I could just hit him from there, which is obviously not nice. All right, I'll fight you like a man. I got my melee weapon. Where where you go anyway? You afraid? You afraid, bro? You afraid? Where are you? Oh, there you are. You're not that afraid. So you're a wither skeleton, I see. And you've blinded me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he's going to be blinding me all over the place. Oh, there you are, Malthorn. You don't stand a chance. Not against me. Not against me. I got these splash potions too, 
So it shouldn't be too much of a problem to keep ourselves um, healed and stuff. Alright, where are you? Oh, God, you're right in my face. <laughs> I'm trying to get out a bunch of these if I can. Uh, he doesn't hit too hard, though, so it's really not that bad. It's more like the wither effect that's um, hurting me here. I'm out torn. Oh, my God, an explosion. Really glad I wasn't standing over there. Strangers, I'm here to help. Don't be afraid. Okay, good, because you really made me afraid, actually. Clear the middle. I'll open up a, a breach to the netherworld so we can kill Malthorn. 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 Can't I just kill him here? Won't he die? Push Malthorn in the void. It's the only way to end this. Alright, go up there. Where's the void? Alright, I'm gonna... Hold on. Where's the void? I don't, I don't see it. Oh, that, that red thing? Oh, I see it. There we go. Oh my god. Alright, Maltorn, In there. Go in. Oh, come on. That was so close. Oh, awesome. I got him in the void. Oh god, bye. Never see you again. Sorry, my lord. Here, Brian, I failed. I received 70 souls and quest 3 is completed. I have to say, I am super impressed with this so far. The, that was an awesome boss fight, the way they set that up. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. And I really appreciate it if you left a like if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time.